Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. We're with you from the Maracanã that has for so long been Rio's leading world-class venue. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4-5-1 formation, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this team. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Forward it goes. Hoists it forward. Gets into some space. Gets the better of his man. Incoming cross. Gets good distance on it. Got the ball glued to his feet. Looks to clip it forward. Receives it from behind. That's always going to be the keepers. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. The defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. It's being played forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. Played into space out wide. A chance to play it in. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. There could be trouble here. Now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Knocks it away. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Plays it long. Heading towards half-time, and it is still scoreless. Gabriel. And it's Gabriel. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. Sees it all the way. And the whistle goes for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember it the last time we had that. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Flamengo, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and... Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Looks to drop one in. 
that should be the keepers. Well, they continue each to cancel the other out. Pinged forward. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest in the line. Atletico Mineiro showing a good level of intensity at this stage. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. in a foot to win it back concentration levels are very good and so is the commitment this game could yet yield a winner tries to get it forward quickly it's come loose a really good feat from him. Gets it back. And time is up. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end.